talking Crucible update and release for June 10th. We see finally they added they added a little bit of a, a surrender feature. Finally, it really needed one, especially for games where you kind of knew you were gonna lose, and like you had teammates that just really weren't doing any of the, any of the objectives. So that's always a good thing. I kind of think that it's kind of weird. They have the surrender feature. Thirty seconds seems pretty quick. Thirty seconds after a match starts, you can sit there and spam for surrender, and then if it is is unsuccessful, you can do so every sixty seconds. Usually, like in most games that have like a surrender feature, usually it's like a couple of minutes into the match that the match actually has time to kind of flow and you can kind of see if the match is going in a particular direction. I mean, one team fight doesn't necessarily mean that the match is going to end in an L. Uh, so I think 90 seconds after the match begins is a little quick, especially 60 seconds. Every 60 seconds, you can spam it. That would get kind of annoying. In any event, it is what it is. I think for crucible the most important thing in crucible in crucible in the june 6th they did add some update changes some kind of some balance changes which is good but i think like the most important thing that crucible needs for it to draw in new players is a ranking system and as far as i've read i haven't seen them introduce a ranking system yet they're still talking about we're going to add like a little mini map making some changes um to certain match modes that they've removed <coughs> excuse me as well as like i said some balance changes bug fixes but for the most part what will draw in more players would be more of the high-end players i mean any any game that has a win lose uh basically setting to it right either you win the match or you lose uh means that it's going to have a competitive scene it's you know Currently, it's just casuals. You're you're fighting against pugs. You could have uh, a high ranking fighting against brand new players, and a matchmaking system uh, fixes a lot of the issues with like players going AFK, players kind of like not really understanding the objective, or maybe just not even wanting to kind of do the objective. Maybe they just want to casually go around and, and, and pew pew some 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 mobs or whatever. So having a, a ranking system kind of moves you away from those players, right? Those players that just don't get it. So that would fix a lot. Once you have that meta, once you have that setting, then a meta will develop where players will um, basically pick the ones that have the highest win, win rates. And then from there, you can then start adjusting uh, champion or hunter abilities uh, which sort of passives maybe are not as good as other ones which ones some that need to be tweaked some that need to be buffed some that need to be nerfed some classes that have too much mobility and some classes that have for the most part no mobility and so you can either give those players or give those hunters either like an, make them anti-mobile characters so they're, they're kind of more designed for keeping those highly mobile characters more stuck in place um, or giving them more or giving them more mobility so that they can basically keep up with everybody else since currently the meta mostly revolves around high mobility especially when you have to cap multiple points or you're trying to grab certain objectives mobility becomes key in those scenarios because if you want to cap a point and it's on the other side of the map obviously playing the most mobile character is going to get there first and cap it and then move on to the next object to the next objective the other thing is that it in terms of the object, in terms of the objectives, what really would make the game more competitive is if you had options, for example, making certain areas have like higher tier mobs that can't be soloed. Maybe you're gonna get like a really strong buff, but it requires the whole team to be there. So you can kind of kind of have like a fight in one section of the map, and you either you're either fighting over the heart or you're fighting over over the buff, uh, etc. Things like that nature, so that it forces teams to either stick together make strategic plays uh, and of course it forces teammates forces teams to interact with one another currently you really don't see a lot of team versus team usually you might see like one person kind of getting soloed out maybe um, a solo player going off into an objective and then he comes across another player or two other players and then dies but typically you don't see a lot of the team versus team interactions which is one of the biggest things that crucible in my opinion is missing where it kind of misses that team versus team 
matchup where you're seeing where plays can be made where you know you can pick somebody off and then maybe the other team has to back off and then go for them or you or you fight over a buff maybe you get a pick etc those are kind of the things that the current uh the current meta of crucible is missing it's missing a lot of that high impact team fights it's missing a lot of what what most players want from a competitive game which is competition currently uh crucible doesn't have that you might see some videos where somebody plays and they're like oh i got you know 20 kills or i did this x amount of damage it really doesn't matter because you're typically fighting pugs every match is a pug match every match is a pickup match and so you could come in as a group you can come in with one or two friends and you're fighting solo queue players there's no distinguishing between uh, the solo players and then the group players. There's no distinguishing between people who have high ranking, have been playing the game for a long time, and for those who don't, who are brand new to the game, and they maybe they're level one, two, or three, and then you end up fighting with people who are like level 20, 30, and 40 uh, that you're fighting against who have much more experience, and that's because there's no real good matchmaking, but primarily because there's no matchmaking system and there's no ranked mode which is really what you need. You need a ranked mode with a good matchmaking system. And that's currently, the, in my opinion, the main thing that is stopping Crucible from actually being a good game. If you actually look at it, if you actually look at Crucible on Twitch, I think it started out fairly fairly well, fairly popular, kind of like most games. But if you're like looking at it right now, basically Crucible uh, is basically dead on arrival. You can see right there, there's literally 100 viewers. I was watching it earlier today. I think there was at most... Uh, 70, 75 viewers, and of course it's an afternoon, it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon, um, and they're basically, I got 100 people watching your game. And so it's basically Crucible, in essence, is dead on arrival. And so what really will push Crucible for that it, more people will watch it, so that more of the competitive players, more of the bigger streamers, that typically play, typically play like Modern Warfare or Call of Duty, what most of those players are looking for, they're looking to... Uh, show their skill right and so no one really cares if you pug stomp a bunch of people because it doesn't really show how skillful you are and that's typically why games uh like you know like league of legend and uh, modern warfare fortnite for example are very popular because the individual streamer is able to showcase their skill something you really can't do in crucible because it lacks that sort of of a dynamic and that's one of the biggest things that they really should be working on yes you want to see the fine tuning of uh, removing bugs and maybe adding in a team chat or or fixing that all that can be done later it doesn't matter if you add all these if, if you if you add all of those things in now and lose your entire player base